All right, guys. Uh, today I wanted to share what I'm going to call this week's defense. I'm going to pick a completely different arena de defense every week. We're going to let it run all week. We're going to see how it performs. Um, so this is what I chose this week. It's Sierra Sekhmet Triton Okeanos. And the philosophy behind it was try to get first turn with Sierra and Sekhmet. Sekhmet's around 270 speed. Um, and then as much disruption as possible. The um, Okeanos is another reset just in case Sekhmet derps. Um, he's got the AoE stun, which hopefully Triton will go in between. Triton's around 250 speed. So ideally this defense goes reset their Tiana, reset their Sierra, reset their Bernard, completely wipe out whatever will they have, AoE stun, bomb them to death. That's kind of the philosophy behind this defense. So this is what I've been running all week. I'll show you how it performs. Um, here's my defensive logs. So 23.8%, um, I was attacked 198 times so far. Um, my victory is really bad. I've been messing with some new auto stuff, but that's okay. Um, around Wednesday, it was at a 30% win rate, which was really good. I was pretty impressed, but it's been slowly going down since then. I've tried to sit between C2 and G1 most of the week, and it's one of those things where I go up to G1, I get knocked back down. Um, so that's the current performance, 23.8%. Not terrible, but not ideal. Um, what's really cool about this week is I have it in action, so I'm going to show you. This was on Burke's stream um, a few days ago, and he actually attacked me, so we can see how this performs in action. So Sekhmet does her thing, resets the Tiana, exactly what I would have liked. Tiana cuts in between Sekhmet and Triton, so that puts that Tiana somewhere between 250 and 273. Then my Triton goes, because she can't bar boost. Okeanos resets again, Violent procs into a stun. I mean, this is about as good as this defense can perform. So this is going really, really well. Bomb the Galleon before Galleon's done anything. My Sierra isn't doesn't hit super hard. She's built more for RTA, so those bombs aren't going to kill. They're more to stun and disrupt. Um, he gets Galleon off. So even here, my defense maybe even going perfectly isn't threatening as much as it should. Like, if, you, if all those things go right, ideally a couple units are dead. And mine doesn't do that. My Okeanos is built tanky. My Sierra is built tanky. Um, so there's not a ton of threat here, even if they do everything they're supposed to do. So he's kind of in a tight spot here, but he's got both his damage dealers still up. And then that Alicia hits super hard. I get kind of lucky that she doesn't get a kill and gets to take another turn. But the Tiana's not getting much to work with with constant resets. Toasty's got one more shot, gets the shield, and I mean, we're still at a point where we could lose, but it's nice to see it doing what it's supposed to do, especially against this offense. The targeting is great because it's Galleon and Alicia for the win units, and the fire units are going to go after Tiana the whole time, which is also really, really nice. So it's just Toasty left, and then we finish it off. So that was the first match. He's going to queue again and change his team. So let's see what he picks here. I believe he picks a speed bomb team, which this team should perform similarly against it if I can outspeed. So it's just a matter of can I outspeed? And the answer is no. So that means his Tiana is faster than my segment. Um, his Tiana is probably in the high 270s to low 280s. It'd be a rare Tiana that would be 290. Um, so if I wanted to improve this team, I would need to, I mean, look at that, super fast clear. All I needed to do is switch teams from his cleave to his bomb. So if I wanted this defense to be super optimal, I would put my fastest swift set on segment. Um, but that's not what I have on, on segment right now. I have, I think, my second or third fastest swift set. So that would be how I would improve this team in the future. I want to show you guys the runes. So here's the Sierra. Violent energy. Speed. Crit rate. HP. 239 speed. So super fast on violent. About 28k HP. 1,000 defense. Accuracy is a little low. The 85% crit is what I like um, because she's taking tons of turns. She'll 100% crit on water, which will give her 45% bar with her first skill. And so she'll be ready to go again. And so she's just taking turns. That's the goal. Lots and lots of turns. Um, all right. Okeanos, 243 speed, 26k HP, 1,500 defense on Violent Broken. So he's also really fast. He's one of my RTA units. Triton, 249. Ugh. That's a problem. <laughs> Don't look at that rune. Um, 
just tanky, just a normal Triton. And then, what are we missing here? Where's my other even unit? Sierra, Triton, Okiano, okay, Sekhmet, Sekhmet, Sekhmet. All right, so she's at one, 274 on Swift Broken. It's one of my better defensive slot four runes. And on Accuracy. So her Accuracy is really good. I don't want her skill to resist. She's still pretty tanky, even though her sixth slot is not uh, a survivability rune. So that was my AD for this week. Um, I thought it'd be fun if someone has a suggestion of what I should try next week. I'm going to scroll through my box here, and I will happily run it as long as it's a you know, a viable seeming AD. I don't want to just throw like multiple Tarks up there and have no chance. So here's my water units that I would use, my fire units, and then my other units. So if you have an idea for an AD you'd like to see me run, let me know. I'll run it for the week and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, I know that's not an AD that everybody can run, not an AD anyone would particularly want to run, but it's nice to see how certain things work against other uh, units. And it was nice to see Burke stream so I could share that um, it actually being attacked live. So hope you all enjoyed it, and I will catch you all next time.